25 summers Christmas edition so um tell us about holidays and Christmas and stuff you know up north like how does that work out like so with that that's like holidays has got to be the most stressful period of time being incarcerated man you know the things we used to like to do out in free society man that no longer exists man they they it, they try to give you a sense of like bringing home to you. They allow you to get a few extra packages. They allow you to get a few extra parables in your package. Like maybe, uh, maybe, you know, a little bit extra cosmetics, a little extra food, things like that. You know, they, they call the holiday spirit, but that's the worst time being it because you don't get to be around your loved ones. You don't get to partake in all of the outings and the things we do, you know, be home with each other. So it's not a real good time. You know, for me, it was the most miserable time in prison, man, all the holidays. So would you say on holidays, just more violence in the prison, like, because, you know, emotions is up because people yeah. are away from their families? Yeah, emotions do be up high, man. People miss their families, so they have a tendency, man, to be a lot more in, in, inclined to get into fights and arguments over small, minute things. Yeah, fighting is up. Stabbings is up, you know, people going to the box. It just it gets high increases, especially around the holidays, like New Year's, Christmas, stuff like that. Yeah, it happens all the time. I've been in a few incidents, man, around the holidays, you know, be doing the lack of not, you know, homesick and everything. You know, I don't feel like no bull crap with nobody, man. So if somebody come my way, you know, it usually ends up in a bad situation, fight or whatever the case is. I've been in a few incidents because of being away for the holidays. Yeah, so um, do they, um, you know, try to serve turkeys on Thanksgiving or put up fake decorations or bring in church groups to sing? Do they do anything like that? You ain't getting no turkey, man. You gonna get some slice, you gonna cold cut, and they gonna call it turkey. You know, they gonna say it's turkey. At one time, they used to give us Cornish hens. That was like a miniature little whole little chicken or turkey, whatever you want to call it. And then the cutbacks came in. Once again, Pataki came in and the cutbacks. So they did it all of that, man. For the holidays, man, the most you're getting, if they say turkey, is sliced turkey or uh, like a uh, cold cut, man. It ain't it ain't no turkey, no stuffing, no none of that, man. They're giving you the regular meal and they just make it. It's not even a feel in prison like the holidays. The only thing that reminds you of that is if you got good family members, somebody that love you, man, send you something that represents Christmas or represents the holiday that you face with, man. Other than that, man, it's just another day. It's another day in the penitentiary. So would you say it's more inmate on inmate robbery around Christmas? Because maybe people are getting in care packages or maybe people's families or whatever are deciding to you know, send them money or whatever. So would you say like more people are getting robbed or extorted during that time? Oh yeah, that, now that's gonna happen. That's gonna go down. You know, people gonna get robbed regardless how it go down, but especially in particular the holidays because people are getting extra things that the administration allow you to have packages and stuff. And extortion is up big. And you know, basically it's the same thing. It's every day, man. It's just that now this is the time of the year where people are getting a little extra stuff than they normally get during the regular year. And then the wolves is coming out. The wolves is out anyway. They just lurking. This is the wolves holiday in the penitentiary. So would you say for more uh, money orders and packages and gifts come into the prison around the holidays versus other times of the years, or is it like the same? Like maybe people feel sorry for their loved ones. Yeah, around. they do. They feel sorry. So they, you are getting more. It's a more an abundance of uh, uh, money orders and packages. And yeah, during this year, like the post office, they get crowded during this year. Well, the penitentiary does too because people are getting things. You know, if you feel sorry for your loved one, they locked up. Send them a little extra money order or extra care package here. So yeah, it's it's overcrowded at this time of year. Hmm. So do you have any memories of a really bad just holiday you had like this Christmas I was in the box this Thanksgiving or birthdays too yeah, other man. things like that do you have any yeah I did many birthdays and holidays in the SHU man special housing unit man it's, it's it happens all the time in particular you feel the flow whenever you in there doing Christmas because a lot of your 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 privileges are being taken away from you anyway due disciplinary. So now you're in prison and in the box locked up. So now this is Christmas time. You're not going to get the extra package. You're not going to get the extra things that you get in commissary. If you do get a money order, you're limited what you can spend because you're an SHU. There's a few years. Like I did 10 years 
in SHU. So I miss plenty of Christmases, birthdays, and holidays. So what you're doing 10 years in, in SHU and lockup, that's what that would be called, correct? Right, Something lockup, like right, that. Yeah. Did you, do you Do you lose sense of the, the months and the days? Or like, what did you do to keep up with that? Did you, you know? Nah, you don't forget what day you at, what day. You don't lose a sense of a day, anything, man. It's not like they taking you and putting you on another planet, man. You just in prison still doing your time. You just don't have the luxuries and the privileges like everyone else. But you're in a room by yourself, correct? Exactly. 23, 24 hours a day. 23 hours a day, yeah. So what would you do to occupy yourself in that? To man, get you're reading, that? man. You're reading your books. You're reading periodicals. You're reading your letters. You're exercising. You're working out. You know, you're keeping your mind sharp, you know, or uh, you're writing, you know, you're doing things to help keep your mind sharp. You know, you're not just sitting there staring at the wall all day because then you will lose your mind. And then, yeah, that's so, not So good. did you did you get visits? Are you allowed to get visits and mail and packages yeah. and all that stuff during that time? Yeah, you're still allowed to get your visitation. You're still allowed to get your mail. You're still allowed to get your things. It's all screened, though, but you're still allowed to get everything you were supposed to get in population as far as mail visits and stuff you still getting that you restricted on a lot of things too because SHU comes with restrictions with visitation which means you can't wear your personal clothing so you have to go down there and SHU garment which would be the prison the prison uniform the green you know all green you know you don't have too much uh cosmetics so you're a little ashy and stuff like that but you're not you're not going to share the same luxuries if you was in population going on a visit that if you're opposed to if you're going on a visit from SHU. So would you say visits increase around this time of year, around Christmas, Thanksgiving? Would you say visits increase at the jail with people, like the sympathy thing again, sending the packages and the money orders and stuff? Would you say more family, people get it more used visits? To be, it used to be like that, but I also witnessed at this time of year, man, real limited visits and everything where people are caught up in their own lives. They don't really have time to be running back and forth to the penitentiary to see a loved one. So they'll send a letter or they'll send a money order or they'll send the packages. But yeah, there's times on holidays like this, the visit room is empty as hell. So overall, what's your, what's your feeling on holidays? How do you feel about them? Because you were you know, locked up. So, so many of them, like, how do you feel about them? You just don't care about them. They mean more to you now that you out. Like what's the, what's the feeling on them? They mean, they, I value them a lot more now that I'm free, that I'm not incarcerated, but then being incarcerated, you, you, you start getting a sense of feeling like, man, um, this is the worst place to be, man, because all good memories we all have were outside of these walls. And then when you're outside the walls, man, and the Christmas come, a birthday come, or a special holiday, you get to spin it around the people you want to. In here, man, you got another choice. You got to spin it around these clowns and all kinds of nonsense with the officers and stuff. So the worst is period of time for me in there, which was every day. But then when the holidays come, you get into, you fall into some depression. You get stressed out, man. You get homesick you know you don't got time tolerance for nobody's bull crap or nothing that was the worst time for me of uh, the holidays you know because the good memories i had being in society they all gone now once she was locked up so yeah i missed i missed a lot of it. and i value it now that i'm out now so it's a lot more fun i'm having a lot more fun and and embarking embracing a lot of the holidays and things of that nature but yeah it's not no place to be incarcerated man during the holiday season 25 summers, payphone era. Subscribe to the page, like the content.